Now on WFAA News at 4 o'clock, after years of delays, the murder trial of former Fort Worth police officer Aaron Dean finally gets underway today. Plus, a small chance of rain and a significant cool down is in our forecast as we begin a brand new week here. We will, of course, be checking in with meteorologist Kyle Roberts for an update so that you will be prepared for all of that. Plus, when Houston's mayor says that residents there will be able to stop boiling their water. Thanks for being with us for this Monday edition of the news at four o'clock. I'm Jason Wheeler. More than three years after the death of a Tatiana Jefferson jury selection in the murder trial of the former police officer Aaron Dean began this afternoon. Yesterday on the eve of this trial, the lead defense attorney Jim Lane passed away, but the other attorneys on the case said that the trial could still proceed. So uh, a last minute uh, interruption there, but it is going forward as planned. Our Rebecca Lopez has been at the courthouse all afternoon, joins us now with an update here today. Uh, Rebecca, years have passed since the death of a Tatiana Jefferson, and there has been so much anticipation leading up to this day. Well, there has definitely been, Jason, a lot of anticipation. People have waited a long time to see what is going to happen. There are a lot of rules in place. The judge has been very strict as the media. He wants to be able to sit a jury without any kind of uh, media interference, that he won't have to move this trial out of Fort Worth. And so it is scheduled to begin on Monday with the jury being selected this week. Uh, started things off today on, on a very sad note uh, with the death of the lead defense attorney here. That was a big shock for a lot of people. What impact, if any, do you think that that's going to have on this trial as the other defense attorneys on this case say that they can go ahead and proceed anyway? Well, look, the judge did address that with the potential jurors today, and he told them about the passing of Jim Lane and that he was one of the lead attorneys in this case. But he said, look, uh, I don't expect that this is going to have any kind of impact on the trial itself. We're going to proceed, but we may take a pause during the trial for his funeral. He was very popular. He was popular here at the courthouse. A lot of people want to attend his funeral, including uh, some defense attorneys and prosecutors that knew him. So there will be a pause if that funeral takes place during the week. Rebecca, Jason. before we let you go here, uh, I just want to ask you this because we know that most trials have some drama. Many of them have some drama each day uh, of that trial, and we understand that there's already been a little bit of that in this first day of trial today. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, there was a witness that uh, is going to eventually be called because his name is James Smith and he is the man who actually called the police uh, that saw the open door at, at Tatiana Jefferson's home. So that is why the police were there in the first place. And uh, the defense says that he was seen outside the courthouse holding up a sign that said justice for Tatiana uh, today. And so uh, he is um, there is a gag order in this case so that they cannot no one can talk about it. So he has not been been sworn in so apparently they're going to bring him in tomorrow swear him in and tell him he can't do that again if he does he could be held in contempt of court mm. and Back with that uh, the the trial is underway again much anticipated people have waited a long time uh, for this one uh, to come to the courtroom there rebecca lopez covering the first day of it there for us and i'm sure we have uh, many more days uh, to speak with you about this rebecca thank you very much for the latest on the Aaron Dean trial, which we'll, we will be covering from beginning to end, just make sure that you're following us at WFAA.com, also streaming at WFAA Plus, and we will have coverage on the WFAA YouTube page as well.